despite being the first of a two-part, or even three-part, main franchise finale, Fast X still raised a lot of issues. There is still so much we don't know about the nose before Dominic Toretto permanently shuts it off, including the fate of the main characters and the potential return of others, missing characters, and dubious allegiances. These are the X biggest issues the Fast and Furious needs to deal with before it drives off into the sunset, but which ones are the most urgent? 6. Mr. Nobody, Tess Father, is where? Yet, Mr. Dot Dot Nobody is still missing as the world is about to end. Wait, strike that last one, is he in hiding, dead, being held captive, or imprisoned in a cyclops cave? Nobody is wrong. We don't know what happened to or where the previous leader of the agency is. All we know is that Tess, his own daughter and their new ally, could really use his assistance in stopping the maniacal Dante. The answer to the question, where is Mr. Nobody and why hasn't he been around for multiple movies, may be crucial to the success of the entire franchise. 7. What additional characters will become the victims of Dante Reyes' retaliation in the series? Dominic Toretto's friends and family are all targets of Dante Reyes' wrath. Numerous people from Dom's past were depicted on his vision board, including Monica Fuentes who was played by Eva Mendez. Luke Evans, anyone who has ever purchased a subpar tuna sandwich from Mia, anyone who has ever known Dom and his friends are all now in danger, making them candidates to return. Will she return to the franchise like Dwayne Johnson's Luke Hobbs has? What other figures from Fast's past will also appear in this final outing? All but the man Deckard Shaw beat up in the tidy whities 8. Why is Giselle, played by Gal Gadot, back now? This ridiculous resurrection was thoroughly discussed. Mr. Nobody might have assisted Giselle, played by Gal Gadot, in hiding, just as he previously assisted Han. Who helped her? though, is less significant than the reason she pretended to die in the first place. We have a ton of questions about Giselle's 10 years of disappearance, but her showing up on a huge submarine isn't even among the top 900,000 things we're perplexed about. 8. Is Cypher, played by Charlize Theron, now a member of the Fast Clan? Fast X posed a quandary about the series stalwart antagonist Cypher, the enemy of my enemy is my friend, but does that make them family? Dot after a bloody fight, she and Letty cooperated to flee an agency black site in Antarctica, where Giselle was waiting for them. We can't rule it out, especially if it turns out that Charlize Theron Cypher didn't actually kill Elena, but if they are formally working together against Dante, does that mean she is now a member of the Toretto extended family like so many other franchise enemies have? 10. Will Brian ever make a screen comeback, in any capacity? Since Paul Walker's passing, the movie series has used the explanation that Brian is protecting his children when things get dangerous to explain the absence of his character. But with the Fast and Furious series coming to an end, will we actually see Brian in some capacity? Could Walker return to save the day via CGI or archival footage like Carrie Fisher in The Rise of Skywalker? Or will they show Brian, possibly played by one of his brothers again like in Furious 7, from behind, perhaps walking with his wife Mia or hugging Dom? Paul, a friend from the Fast series, will never be forgotten. It's been a while since he rode with them, but it seems like we'll see him again before this family's tale comes to an end, so will it also leave a role open for Brian in their farewell?